<clears throat> hello, 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 everyone. How are you doing? Say hello as you come in. Let me get this up so I can see you guys, see your comments. Hey, Dora, how are you? Okay, I can see that. All right. Hey, Remy, how's it going? Okay, we are cooking with gas now. So I have been running around all day long. Hey, Pat. Hey, Kim. Hey, Faye. How's everyone doing? Blue everywhere. So I'm going to be making a wreath, a spring wreath. I'm tired of doing winter and you know, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to do this. And I got this last year from Big Lots. Well, this year in February. So we're going to do that. Let me see if the camera needs to come down a little bit so you can see that a little better. Okay. So I started to, um, hey, Elizabeth, how are you? I started to make up my wreath frame, so I thought I would finish it with you guys. I was running around all day today. So this is a 14-inch wreath frame from, um, hey, Pat from Dollar Tree. So all I do is I take a full pipe cleaner and I put it right here. I just put a lat, little dab of glue there so that it holds. And then I take a half a pipe cleaner. Hey, Jane, how are you? Hey, Deb. I know, right? I'm tired of Christmas. So I take a half a pipe cleaner and I put it on the same cross section on the third row. And hey, Stephen, how are you? Merry Christmas. Is your surgery scheduled? Okay, and then I take another full pipe cleaner and I put it on that third row again and I just kind of center it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Hey, Karen from England, welcome. And just a little dab of glue. Okay, and then I'll take another full one. <clears throat> yeah, it started raining here today, but tomorrow it's supposed to be like 61 degrees here. It's crazy, but it's supposed to rain all day. We're supposed to have really nasty rain tomorrow. So, so again, I did a full pipe cleaner there. I'm going to do a half pipe cleaner on the crossbar on the third row. Okay, don't forget to share this. Oh, good, Deb. I'm glad you watched it. Oh, the 4th of January. That's coming up. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Oh, Stephen, I will be praying for you. Okay. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. So that is done. Turn off my glue gun here. All right. So, like I said, this is a 14-inch frame from the Dollar Tree. I use the crossbars. I put a full one right on the first one, a half a one on the third one, and then in the middle between the crossbars, I put one full one right there. Okay? And I do that on each section. That's just something that I decided I like to do. <clears throat> so that's how I do it. Oh, no, Dawn. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I'm feeling better. So, yeah, so we're going to use this sign, and then I have this cute ribbon to go with it. So I'm excited. I think it's going to be good. I'm tired of doing Christmas. Hey, Janelda, how are you? Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So we're going to use our handy-dandy mesh roller here to get this started. And this is just a jute mesh. It's a 21 inch and oh, thanks, Deborah. Happy Thursday to you. Let me get my scissors here and cut some of those stragglers off. <clears throat> okay. All right. And I'm going to do 12 inch poofs <clears throat> and we're going to start on the top row. I'm just going to get my bottom ones out of the way and then we're going to go ahead and start now when i do the poops i always start on the 
in a row where, <clears throat> excuse me. Hey, Julie, welcome. Excuse me, gotta get a drink. On the top row here, and then when I get finished and come back, I have it right here and I can bring it down. Hey, Merry Christmas to you also, Venus. Yes, I'm finally feeling better. I mean, I still feel the remnants of it a little bit, but I'm a lot better than I was. Thank you. So, <clears throat> I flipped my mat over. So, this looks much better. So, then what I'm going to do is just going to measure the 12 inches. And I have it right there on my mat. And then I'm just going to pull. Okay. And I'm going to put it. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Hey Rose. <clears throat> hey Rose. I'm gonna put it in that next one and then poof it out. Okay. So again, just 12 inch poofs. Pull and put it in here. Okay. So if you guys could share this video, I would appreciate it very much. Invite your friends and family to come. And if you do not get alerts and would like an alert, type in live. Hey, Carol. Hey, Kim. How are you? <clears throat> Just type in live in the comments. And then if you want information about my private group, type in group. So again, I'm just doing 12 inch poofs. I'm putting it in here. T-shell, tonight it's a spring wreath. I'm going to use this little sign here. Doesn't that look nice? I know, I'm tired of doing winter and all that. Hey, Jackie, how are you? <coughs> hey, Lynette. So, again, I'm just doing 12-inch poofs. Hey, Peggy, how are you? I cannot believe that Christmas is on Tuesday, just a couple days away. I just, I can't wrap my head around that yet. All right, so now we're back at the beginning. Hey, Susie. <clears throat> hey, Jerry Lynn. I'm making a spring wreath. So what I'm gonna do when I do start back at the beginning, I do open that one up. Hey, Susie, how's it going? Hey, Peggy. So that's the, really the only time I, um, yes, I'm doing the top row first, Deborah. Carol, the frame is a 14-inch frame from the Dollar Tree. All right. So what I'm going to do now, whoops, knock that off. What I'm going to do is I'm back at the first row now, and I'm just going to bring it right down here to the half pipe cleaner on the bottom. Now, you don't want to pull it tight because you'll pull your mesh. <clears throat> so you're just going to loosely tie it in there. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, thank you, Patricia. And then I'm going to do 12-inch poofs down at the bottom as well. And the bottom's going to look a lot fuller because, yes, Lynn, mm -hmm. because I have, you know, more pipe cleaners down there. <clears throat> so, um, I'm doing 12-inch um, poofs, Carol. Yep. I know, five days until Christmas. I'm not ready for, I mean, I'm pretty much ready. I mean, I have almost all the gifts. I have to wrap some tonight. I think there's like one or maybe one thing I haven't gotten yet. Now, when I'm doing the half, the, the ones in the half pipe cleaner, I know I'm not using the, um, yes, Carol, 12 inch proofs. I don't put streamers in my half pipe cleaners. So when I'm done, I tie it off real good. And then I just loop them around the frame. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Sherry. And just kind of get them out of the way. <clears throat> You're ready? Good for you. I'm just not ready yet, but I'll get there. I know. Merry Christmas. Yay. Trying to, we always do. We do kind of non-traditional Christmas. We do... Um, homemade strombolis on Christmas Eve. We have a, we have my kids over, our kids over on Christmas Eve. Um, so they all come over. We kind of spend the day. Hey, Karen, how are you? 
and we make homemade strombolis and we just sit around and play and that kind of stuff so that'll be fun and then yeah we have strombolis so we each kind of get to pick what we want in our own strombolis we make it it's a lot of fun so i think this year we might take the kids to the movies during the day I want to take them to see that Grinch movie. Has anybody seen the Grinch movie yet? Hey, Meta, how are you? Hey, Karen. <laughs> Your house looks like Santa's workshop. That's funny, Stephen. <laughs> hey, Rachel, how are you? <laughs> oh. Well, you're getting ready there. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I like this mess. It's just a jute mesh, a plain jute mesh. And really, you can use it for anything. So, <clears throat> and like I said, those half pipe cleaners, I just tie them off and I wrap them around the frame because I know I'm not going to use them for anything. Can you see that? I just kind of take them and wrap them around the frame there. Just the half ones. <clears throat> <laughs> you did it was funny oh good because um hey kathy oh yeah they, they're late putting stuff out steven is it good like um i mean we have i have grandkids ranging from age from nine to four i'm gonna take hey Teresa, how are you so i'm excited to take them i think it'll be fun you know, because if we just sit around the house, well, you know, we do things, we play, but stuff like that. You know, they start to get rammy. So, <clears throat> you know, we try to do either like, you know, decorate cookies or something like that. Hi, Colleen. Um, you know, Monday is Christmas Eve. So I'm thinking I'll probably do a live on Sunday night this time. Because um, Monday, like I said, Monday's Christmas Eve. So I know I won't be on um, Christmas Eve. So I'm thinking I'm going to do, oh good, I'm thinking I'm going to do Sunday night. Hey Patricia, how are you? Yeah, I thought it would be fun to do because we're all just going to hang out. <clears throat> so I'm excited. Can't wait. Good to have you here, Patricia. Like I said, if you could share this with your family and friends, I would appreciate it. So I went to Hobby Lobby today with my daughter. And, you know, their Christmas stuff is all like 66. <laughs> that is funny. That's funny. She calls it. Oh, boy. Yeah, when they're little, they can't, they can't say things right. That's cute. Um, yes, I went to Hobby Lobby today, and they didn't really have, thanks Jackie, a lot of Christmas stuff. I got, um, a couple things, but, ooh, what did you get, Teresa? Anything good? <clears throat> All right, so I am back at the beginning, and I do open the one up that I just, you know, back at the beginning, but really, other than that, I really don't reopen my twist ties. Thank you for sharing, Teresa. <clears throat> I'm so excited, guys. I'm over 9,000 likes on my page. So I'm hoping to get to 10,000. And when I get to 10,000, I'm going to do a giveaway. Oh, awesome, Teresa. So I'm excited. So share, share, share. I said I would love to get to 10,000 and... All right, so this is a little bit, um, <clears throat> I use half pipe cleaners on where the crossbars are. You see how the frames have a crossbar? I use a full pipe cleaner on the one in the front and a half pipe cleaner on the one in the back. <clears throat> oh. Okay, so. 
what I'm going to do is, um, I know I've showed you this guy, this before, where I do the um, the crisscross um, to kind of fill in when your mesh looks a little thin. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so now I'm on the bottom, so then I'm just going to take it and pull it up to the top. Now, I'm not really doing a big... Um, poof. I'm just kind of filling in that center where it's a little thin. Okay. And then this one is on the top. So now I'm going to take it to the bottom. And this kind of helps to fill in when your mesh looks a little thin. Okay. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I think I might, I have a, um, a single mesh holder, so I think I might give that away, along with maybe some ribbon, and I don't know, maybe a wreath, so I thought for 10,000, hey Sandy, how are you? Do something big, so we have to get to 10,000 likes. Hey Nicole, how are you? Okay. So I don't know if you can tell how that's filling in a little bit over there where this is still a little thinner. Okay. <clears throat> okay. It just helps to, you know, fill it in. Now, Deb, I don't use the half pipe cleaners for anything except for the um the first initial the mesh holder let me i have a link for that so let me show you where that's at okay mesh holder Okay, so that is where I got the mesh um, roller. Just go ahead and use that link. It is an affiliate link. I'll get a couple pennies, but I love my mesh roller. But like I said, I have a single one here that, um, oh, thanks, Nicole, that I think I'm going to give away when we do when we get to 10,000. So, so I'm excited. Can't wait. All right, so then, like I said, I'm just going, I'm not using those half pipe cleaners again. I only put the initial, hey, Susie, how are you? The initial round of mesh in there. <clears throat> hey, Trudy, how are you? All right. So if you guys could share my page. And help me get to 10,000 likes. I would appreciate it. Okay. We're almost back at the beginning. Hey, Becky. Hello, and Merry Christmas to you as well. I would sing, but you guys don't want to hear me sing. I love to sing, but... Thanks, Nicole. Yeah, Susie's Recent Things is where you get the mesh holder. And I love mine. <clears throat> like, I had the, the original one for a while, the single one. And I love that. And then she came out with this deluxe, and I was like, yeah. So, and I got that. Okay. So, last one here, I think. Maybe one more after this. Hey, Linda, how are you? Oh, thanks, Michelle. Okay, one more, and then we are done with the mesh. Because <clears throat> we are back at the beginning. Merry Christmas, Charlotte. Okay, so let me cut that off. All right, then I'll just tuck that under there, down the bottom. <clears throat> and 
then what I usually do is kind of take where I began right here. <laughs> you'll, but the thing is, you'll only hear me. So that's not fair. And I just wrap a pipe cleaner or a zip tie around it. Whoops, backwards. And then it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, it wouldn't go anywhere anyway, but I just kind of like to zip tie the beginning and the end there. Okay, and then turn it around there. <clears throat> hey! All right. So, that's what it looks like. You can see then that kind of really fills it in nicely. Okay? So that's that. And then we'll probably put the sign like down there. So, let's get our ribbon cut. And I thought I would go with this green ribbon that has pink and blue and orange flowers. I thought it was perfect. And then like an orange accent. So let's get our ribbon cut here. <clears throat> Move this out of the way. Let's fall. I'm not getting anything over. Hey Sandy, same to you. All right, I'm going to use my mesh holder, put my ribbon on there, and I'm going to measure, let's do 13 inches, okay? So this is where the mesh holder really comes in great as well. So you can put your ribbon on there, and then I just do my tails. I have it here at the 13 inch mark. I'm just going to put my hand there and fold it over. Make sure it's a straight fold. Okay, so I have 12. Um, the sign came from uh, Big Lots in February. So I just fold it over and then I just keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. See how easy that is? So easy. And then I just take it and fold it in half. Now you do need to have a really good pair of scissors for this. You want to cut on the fold edge up towards the corner. So you just take it and cut that all off at once. Oops. And then I do the same thing to this side. Okay. Sometimes you get that edge there that doesn't cut. All right, so there's my flower ribbon. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take this orange ribbon, and I might even do a blue. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, then I'm going to take this one off, and I'm going to put my roll on here. Whoop. That's a big 50-yard roll, so it kind of hits that stuff. And I'm going to measure this. Yes, I'm doing these ribbon at 13 inches. And again, I just get it to the mark. Fold it in half, and then I just roll out two. <clears throat> Three. I think I have it twisted. Oh, let's start that again. I have it all twisted. Yeah, these cutting mats are great. They really are a nice... I mean, I couldn't live, you can't live without it when you do Reese. <clears throat> okay, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 
and 12. <clears throat> and I did sell this um, linen ribbon in my Etsy shop. And I think I'm going to start stocking that again soon. So I will let you know when I have that back in stock. <clears throat> you want to kind of keep a basic of all, like these linens are great basic for your, um, oh, awesome. Okay, so now I'm thinking of adding either, <clears throat> can't get to it. Have this blue. Or this blue. So let's just cut one of each and see what we like. They're closing? Oh no. Yes, all my ribbon has wire in it. Absolutely. Yep, I do not buy ribbon that is not wired. Just going to cut one to see if I like this or not. <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking the polka dots too. But we'll cut one of each and test it out. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, that stinks about the pack of tans. Although, you know, when I went there this year, um, <clears throat> when I was in Pittsburgh for Thanksgiving, I didn't think they had um, as nice a stuff as they did last year. Hey, Kim. I know it's raining here. Yep, that's what it's supposed to do here all day tomorrow, too. So I'm going to get the flower ribbon, the orange ribbon, and let's try the polka dot. Okay, just that one. Okay, so let's see how this looks. So I just take them, stack them on top of each other, and then I just gather them together. Hey, Kathy, how are you? You just wake up and look pretty. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right blue or not. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not loving that blue with it because this is more of a teal. I think I'm going to take the blue out. And let's look at the plane. But I think that's going to be the same problem. Although there's blue in there. Let's see. I don't like the blue. Don't think I like the blue. All right, so we're going to nix the blues. I don't know. Just not feeling it. Yeah, I could do yellow. Let's see the yellows. I have a couple different yellows. Yeah, I was thinking, you guys, look, this is all the ribbon I pulled because I was trying to decide what I wanted to do. So, and then I saw that, but I'm thinking either a yellow. Yeah, I didn't like that. <clears throat> Maybe that yellow or even, no. But this blue might not be bad because it kind of has the tealy in it. <clears throat> I kind of like that one. Let's try that one and see what that looks like. 
or we could no, I don't think that'll look right. Yeah, you know, that's why I kind of oh, I always experiment with stuff and I don't always have exactly picked out what I want because sometimes when you get the wreath done you don't like you know I don't like it with it so I don't know let's see I think this might work I kind of like this <clears throat> maybe it's the orange that's throwing me off okay so let's try this blue I don't think this blue is going to work <clears throat> All right, let's try this again. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm liking that. What do you guys think? That blue will do it. I think that's the one. <clears throat> now I'm wondering if I take the orange out. I'm wondering if it's that orange that's throwing me off. No, I think that's good. All right, we'll use those three. I'm liking it. All right, so let me cut this last one here. Um, Jane, I do 18 full pipe cleaner, or sorry, 12 full pipe cleaners and six half pipe cleaners. <clears throat> That's how I do my frames. Three, four, five. flower in your basket um I do have orange do I have orange? yes I do what I could do I could do the orange flower with this and the green with this let's try that out let's see if I like that Yes. Yep, that's correct. See, a lot of times I have to see the ribbon. I have to see the mesh on the ribbon. Hey, Barbara. And see the ribbon. I don't know. I'm weird that way. Sometimes I can just, yep, that's it. And other times it's like, mm, I don't know. Let's try this. <clears throat> and then we'll alternate some. I think that's what I'll do. So. <clears throat> Let's see how this looks. I know, right, Carol? I do. I kind of have to see it. I don't know why. Sometimes I put stuff together and it's like, yep, that's it. And other times it's like, I have to see everything. <clears throat> okay, let's see how this is. No, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put these two together and these two together. Let's look and see. Let's see if we like it. Oh, Christy, that's cute. Oops, there went my wreath. <clears throat> hey, how are you? All right, let's try this and see if we like it. Let's try it, try it, try it. Oh, Jerry Lynn. Yeah, it'll happen. It'll happen fast. Believe me. It will happen fast. 
you will have a stash before you know it. Oh, thanks, Carol. <clears throat> okay, so let's see if we like this. Hmm. Not sure about that. I don't know if I like that orange in there. <clears throat> hmm. The yellow flower. You mean the, um, oh, that's it. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. <clears throat> Okay, I have green. No, nope, don't like that green. But I do have the basil. That'll um thing. I think the yellow. I don't know what it is about the orange. The orange is just not doing it for me tonight. Sometimes that happens, you know. Sometimes the orange, you know, a color you think you're going to use, and then you don't like it. This one. Okay, let's try this with the blue. <clears throat> yeah, the juke color would just blend right in. So we can't do the juke color. All right, let me find my pipe cleaners. I'm liking the yellow. I'm not liking the orange, but I'm liking the yellow and the blue. Hmm. Now, I know, Shemit, you were right. You were right. Now, do we do all of just the yellow and the blue? Or do we alternate? What do you guys think? <clears throat> I don't know. I think it might. I'm not. Hmm. I mean, let's try this. You know, I thought this ribbon was going to be perfect, but I don't know. Let's see what this will look like. <clears throat> See, I, I always have to like experiment sometimes. It's like sometimes I know right away and other times it's like, nope, I have to see it. Yeah, that orange is just not for me. I don't know. I'm just not loving the orange. Not loving the orange. All right, so we're going to, we're not going to do any of these that I just cut. That's okay. I will use them in another project. I think just the yellow and blue. I think the yellow and blue. All right. That's how it happens sometimes. I don't know why. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. It's that orange. I, I am not loving the orange. Okay, so we have one, <clears throat> two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this daisy ribbon is really thick. So you need a good pair. 
pair of scissors to really cut through it. Um, Karen, what I do is I put them on, I'll show you, let me cut two more of these and then I'll show you. Um, I put them on the crossbar on the third row. <clears throat> Pulled off this ribbon. <laughs> I have it here. Okay, there we go. All right. All right, Karen, your um, wreath frame comes like this. Okay, this is just a box form and it has the crossbars here. And what I do is I put a full pipe cleaner on the inner ring here. And then I put a half pipe cleaner on the crossbar on the third ring. And then I put a full pipe cleaner in between the two crossbars on the third row. Hey, Barbara. So, yeah, I mean, you don't have to put the half pipe cleaners there, but this is going to be a huge gap. And I think it's too far to go. Yeah, that's seven and a quarter inches. So that's too far to too much of a span without um, any pipe cleaners. So that's why I add that half pipe cleaner there. <clears throat> and that's just my preference. If you don't, you know, if you don't like to do that, then by all means, you know, you don't have to. You kind of, um, you know, decide what you want to do. That's one thing about wreathing. There's no rules in wreathing. So you can do whatever you um whatever you like. But I think if you put the, the streamers and everything in all of them, it's just a waste of ribbon to me. So I don't know. Just my opinion for whatever that's worth. <laughs> okay. All right. I love the, I love yellow and blue together. And the yellow is so nice and bright and cheery. Because today it's a dreary day here. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I like, I just like it like that. You know, it's just kind of something I started doing. I don't even remember when or where I started doing it. I just... I've been doing it so long now, I can't even remember. <laughs> so, don't forget, if you're new to the group and would like an alert each time I go live, just type in live. If you want information about my private group or want to join my group, just type in group. We would love to have you. This Tuesday night, we did a, a Zoom call and it made bows, so it was a lot of fun. So, <clears throat> so yeah, so please share this. When I get to 10,000 likes, I think I'm going to give away, like I said, the one um, single mesh holder. I know I'll give away a wreath and maybe some rolls of ribbon. We'll see. So please share if you would. So hopefully we won't get snow for Christmas. Hopefully it'll just be rain. I remember a couple of, thank you, Sean, a couple of um, years ago. It was so warm at Christmas. We had the windows open and my grandsons were all running around without their shirts on because it was so hot. Hey, Jonathan, how are you? Good to see you. 
welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I love the yellow and the and the blue together. So what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. So you guys tell me what your favorite colors are. I love blue. Thanks, Karen. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. All right, so there's the top row done with the yellow and the blue flowers. Now we're going to do the bottom. Oh, good, Jonathan. Okay, just gather it. <clears throat> and I just kind of take it from where I have my fingers and kind of pushing it up. It helps it to sit better in um, the wreath. 80 degrees. Oh, joy. Uh, Jerry Lynn likes green. Lynette blue. Jonathan teal. Nicole purple. Uh, Marianne pink. Blue. Red. It's funny. My um, daughter-in-law's favorite color is um, pink. And so my two and a half year old grandson, every time like we're coloring or something and I'm trying to, you know, tell him the, the colors. When he uses the pink crayon, he says, mommy's, <laughs> this is mommy's, mommy's color. It's really funny. Pink, orange. Yeah, I like orange too. Orange, yes. Hey, Rose, how are you? <clears throat> pink. Okay. All right, so now let me show you why I don't, I put the half pipe cleaners in there. See, this is where the half pipe cleaner is. Can you guys see that? So if I used, made that a full pipe cleaner and put streamers in it, look how close, I mean, it would be streamers on top of streamers and they're already close enough. So that's why I don't put the streamers in those half pipe cleaners. And that, like I said, that's just my preference. So red, blue. Oh, brown. Oh, that's interesting. You don't hear too many people say brown, but that brown's a great color too. Again, you just fold it in half at the middle point. Then you just take it and kind of fluff it out. Thank you for sharing, Barbara. I appreciate that. <clears throat> and then put it in the tie. Okay. Three more to go, it looks like here. So what present do you most want for Christmas this year? Is there anything you really want for Christmas this year? <clears throat> I think as we get older, we kind of, I don't know, we have a lot of stuff and we don't need, I don't know. Yeah, right, Theodora? Yeah. Because they get, the um, ties are just too close together. <clears throat> Mesh. Ah, you want mesh. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good Christmas present. A new craft room. Yes. A cordless glue gun. Yay. A pick machine. Oh, awesome. Yes. Yeah. Right, Jerry Lynn? Yeah. They have so much mesh you don't, or so much ribbon which is fine, but I kind of like to see some of the mesh. Oh yeah, I love, I have an Archon mount. I love my Archon mount. <clears throat> yep. Isn't that funny when we craft, you always want stuff like that. I um, was talking to my husband the other day and he was like, what do you want for Christmas? I, was like, I don't know. And then I was thinking, I have a really old monitor. And so I said, I think I want, um, 
<clears throat> I think I want a new monitor because it's really blurry. On glue pots, um, in what way, Deb? Like, I use them when I do a lot of florals and stuff like that. I don't use, um, I don't use, let me see. All right, so what I'm going to do now, sorry. I don't use it a lot, but I do like them. And I just bought a small electric skillet from Walmart. I didn't buy, like, you know, if they have them. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put anything else in the tie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a um, dowel and just roll my pipe cleaners there. Oh, nice. Electric scissors. That's a great one. A new office computer. Yep. Yep. I just got this new laptop a couple months ago, so I'm happy with it. But I like, like I put the monitor here so I can read your comments easier than trying to look on the phone or the um, iPad because they're so tiny. Getting older. <clears throat> I know, wouldn't that be nice if we could just have everything we wanted? I would love a bigger craft room, but I have so much stuff. Hey, Gary, how are you? Good to see you. So much stuff crammed into this craft room. And today I exchanged out this table. I got a new bigger table. And so I'm loving it. <clears throat> I need a drink. Here we go. Much better. How you been, Gary? Haven't seen you in a while. I know I'm thirsty. <clears throat> okay, we are moving right along. Almost done. I think we'll make a bow. What do you guys think? Should we make a bow to go on here? sign on and then we'll see where we're at um this is 30 inches wide i just got it um target had them oh no problem kathy it is a jute mesh oh, no. <laughs> um it's 30 inches wide by six feet wide um because I had one that was just like 38 inches wide. Oh, anyway, Target had these tables on sale for $29. It was like $10 off. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go get one. I'm going to get one. All right. So make sure you cut the tag off here. And then it has the metal thing here. But I'm going to take that off. But I'm going to use those holes. A Probo. Yes. I love my Probo. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to use those holes, and then I'm also going to put some holes down here. Now, this is a metal sign, and these are just little metal, um, it's a metal hole punch. It was in the jewelry section at like AC Moore or Michaels or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to punch some holes in the sign. So that I can put, and it just goes right through the sign. I don't know if you guys can see that hole or not. But it just makes a little hole just big enough for your wire to go through. <clears throat> okay. And it's perfect. It just works great. So then I'm going to take my silver floral wire here because the silver you won't even see it. I'm going to cut a couple of pieces, probably about 20 inches long. I always like to cut my stuff long because you can't make it longer, but you can always make it shorter. So okay. Yeah, that it, and I just got it 
at the, um, like I said, at the, I think I got mine at AC Moore. And it just helps, you know, when you're doing, dealing with metal signs. So you don't have to glue anything on there or anything like that. Oh, the mesh roller you can get from Susie's Wreaths and Things. Yep, let me. And here is my affiliate link to get the mesh holder. You will love it. Like I said, when I reach 10,000, I'm going to give away a um, free um, single mesh holder. Um, Jonathan, I'm not sure because it's it's made for metal. It might if the if the wood isn't too thick. But you can try it. I've never tried it on a metal or on a wooden one, but it might. <clears throat> yeah, it might, it might, it might. <clears throat> okay. Two more to go here. And like I said, these holes were already in here from the hanger that it had in there. So I'm just going to use those holes. Yeah, the metal signs aren't usually real thick. So I guess if you have a thin wood sign, it might work, but um, you could always use a, um, like I have an ice pick that I use, that I used to use for my metal signs, but I bet you could do that for wood and just, you know, hammer it in there. Okay, so I'm going to take my sign and I'm going to put it down here because I think, um, I'm going to put some bows over here. <clears throat> oh, that's awesome, Maria. You're going to love it. All right, then I'm just going to feed it through my mesh. And through the bottom. <clears throat> okay. You're, you'll love it, Maria. You will love it. Okay, so then what I try and do, like I talk about these crossbars all the time. I try and tie it to at least two of the crossbars so that your sign doesn't slide from side to side. <clears throat> oh, okay. So you make your signs, Jonathan? Yeah, it might work. But the, um, the ice pick would definitely work. All right, so then I'm just wrapping it around there. And I made this really long, but that's okay. I always make my stuff long because you can always cut it off. But you can't add to it. Okay. Now this one isn't on a crossbar, but what I'm going to do is see that pipe cleaner there. That pipe cleaner is glued in so you can use that the same way. So I'm just going to feed that back and forth around the pipe cleaner that was glued in so it doesn't slide around because you don't want your sign moving back and forth. <clears throat> I do, um, oh, ask Jonathan. I don't know, Jonathan, do you sell your signs? Or do you just make them for yourself? <clears throat> I have a friend, Jackie, from Crazy Chicken Lady. Um, she sells signs. A lot of the signs that I use are from her. Oh, that's awesome. I do not have a Cricut. I do have some signs in my 
Etsy store. I'll show you guys. <clears throat> All right. So those two are on. And then we will put these two on. <clears throat> Jonathan says he just makes them for himself. All right. So those two. And we will. Now this one's by a crossbar. So I will go ahead and use that crossbar. Yes, Jackie from um, Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Signs and Wreath. Let me I have her. I think I have it here. I don't have it. Hmm. I don't have it right here. But yeah, if you want um, information about the signs it's cut uh, crazy chicken lady custom signs and wreaths <clears throat> okay so i'm just going to wrap that around hey judy how are you and again this pipe cleaner is right there so i'm going to take advantage of that pipe cleaner and wrap it around there <clears throat> You guys could share this i would greatly appreciate it yeah if um if i remember i'll post it afterwards <clears throat> okay all right so we have that going there you can pull these out a little bit Stand up some. Okay. Isn't that cute? All right. <clears throat> Thanks, Judy. So I think maybe make a couple bows. Do you guys want me to make a bow on the Pro Bow or on the um, Easy Bow? Which do you guys want to see? <clears throat> so let me know easy bow or pro bow okay so this wreath will be in my etsy shop so if you're interested in the wreath It'll be, it's in my Etsy shop. So, <clears throat> all right. Hello, hello, hello. Pro bow, easy bow, easy bow. Okay, so let's get some. Thank you. Easy bow, pro bow. We have one pro bow, two easy bow. <clears throat> easy bow. Okay. All right. I'm going to try the easy bow. Have you guys used the easy bow maker at all yet? Let me get my longer ones out of here. Excuse me. Sorry. Let me put my butt there. Easy. Okay. Yeah, that, but that's okay. All right. <clears throat> so, thanks, Maria. Okay. So I think what we'll do is we will mix and match some here. So we have the yellow. We have the. Okay. So let's start with the yellow. I'm going to dovetail my ends. So when you dovetail your ends, you want to fold it in half and you want to cut on the folded edge 
to the corner, okay? <clears throat> and then what you do is I'm just going to put like, there's measurements on the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight inches. So I'm going to do eight inch tips, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in there. I'm going to scrunch it down, okay? Then I'm going to twist, right? Then I'm going to go to the six inch mark right here. I'm going to feed that in there. And you want it to be nice and fluffy. Put it in and twist. <clears throat> okay. I am feeling better. I um, still have it a little bit, but I'm feeling better. You know, Karen, when I first started making bows, I tried the Easy Bow Maker, and I did not like it at all. To be honest, I did not like it at all. But then I started using the Pro Bow and Twist, and um, I think once I kind of got the hang of bows, I like using the Easy Bow Maker and the um, Pro Bow, to be honest. All right. So I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to do two with yellow, put it in and twist. Okay. And you kind of want to fluff your bows, your um, loops as you go. You don't want them to be flat. <clears throat> Okay, and twist. Okay. Or scrunch. Okay, so now I'm just going to do another tail here. I think I'm going to add a little bit of orange to it. Yes, it is. It is all in. It is all in the twist. I agree. Get this out of the way. <coughs> <clears throat> All right. Okay, then I'm going to use, I'm going to use this orange. I'm not going to use a ton of it, but I am going to use a little bit of it, okay? I'm going to do a 10 inch tail. I'm going to put it in and I'm going to twist and I'm still going to do six inches. <clears throat> put it in. You kind of want to fluff that bow as you go. And you do kind of want to form your bow as you go also. Okay, and twist. <clears throat> Six here. Okay, and twist. Okay. All right, so I think I'm going to do... Two with the yellow, one with the orange. <clears throat> Cut that off. All right. Yeah, it's a different when you use the Pro Bow, you build it from the top down. When you use the Easy Bow, you build it from the bottom up. <clears throat> okay, so I have two loops of the yellow, one loop of the orange. Now I'm going to come on here with some blue. Okay, now these loops are six inches. I'm going to do this at five inches. Now, you really wouldn't have to do the twist with this if you don't want to, because it's the same on both sides. But I kind of do it because I, I kind of just want to keep it, you know, the same. All right, so now I'm going to do two of this at five inches. Okay. So I'm going to do two loops. <clears throat> okay, another one. Five inches and twist. Whoop. 
five inches and twist. Okay. All right. Cut that off. <clears throat> Two loops on that side, and then I think I might, I might, might, because we have the yellow and the blue in there. Hmm. Let's see what this looks like. Add a little bit of this. Let's see what we think. Maybe just one of this. Okay, twist, and I'm going to do these at four inches. Okay. And really, you can do whatever you want. You kind of just do as you go. Use four inches. Okay, and scrunch. And then I'm going to finish this bow off. <clears throat> okay, now, with the um, Easy Bow Maker, use a zip tie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it through there on the bottom. And you want to kind of make sure you have it through all of them. And start to pull it up. Okay. You don't want to pull it tight. You just want to pull it up. And then you want to bring that zip tie to the back. Okay. Tighten it up just a little bit. <clears throat> okay. And then I'm going to put a zip tie in there. All right. So. You want to, before you tighten up the zip tie, you want to um, get your loops where you want them, okay? So I kind of want that there. Put some tails up here. <clears throat> okay. Orange there. Okay, let's grab a blue loop and put this up here. <clears throat> okay, so kind of the way I want it. We'll fluff it more when we get it on the actual thing. So then I'm going to tighten this up really tight and I'm going to cut that off. All right, so now we want to cover this center up because we don't want that showing. So I think I'm going to come back with the blue. Let me just cut a piece off. And I'm just going to fold it like that. Okay. And wrap it around where that zip tie is. Okay, and then just tie it off. Oh, thanks, Jonathan. Well, you know, I couldn't, when I first started, I could not make a bow to save my life, to be honest. I hated bows, couldn't get the hang of it, and then I got the pro bow. And boy, that really helps. I mean, it just really, you know, makes it so much easier. Okay. Right, let's get this on the wreath and see what we think. <clears throat> okay. Right. Take my zip tie. Let's see if we want it up there or down here. Let's put it down here. Let's put it down here. And I need to twist my zip tie. 
put it on upside down so I have to twist it. <clears throat> it does. It does. It takes a lot of practice. And that's really all it is. It's just practice, practice, practice. Okay. Let's tie that on. See if we like it. It does. It really does. It's just, you know, getting to know how you do things and how you... I kind of still like the pro bow, you know? But, <clears throat> move these tails back down here. I don't like them up there. Okay. Right. And then, like I said, you can kind of move them around once you get them on the wreath, too. Decide how you want it to look. <clears throat> okay, and then now your tails, you can dovetail them or you can just kind of do a side and angle one. It's totally up to you, however you want it to look. And then you can just curl them up. Kind of make it a little more decorative. And again, you want to, um, you know, you want to practice with your bows and stuff because that's what it takes the longest for me is the bows. Okay, you can curl them. <clears throat> yep, got to dovetail that one. Yep, but that's all you do. You just take them and you can make them longer or shorter. I always kind of make my tails long because, like I said, you can always cut them shorter if you want, but you can't make them longer. Okay. Okay. All right. What do you guys think? I think that touch of green in there really brings it out, brings out the green. <clears throat> you know, and a little bit of orange. You know, you can cut those shorter if you want them. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Yes or no? Okay, you can even move this up a little bit so your bow is not hiding it as much. <clears throat> Okay. Yep. Alrighty. So that's, I think I might move that sign up a little bit. I have to do that. Kind of move it up so the bow is not hiding it as much. I think I will definitely do that. Right? Yeah, I like the green because the green kind of brings out the, um, the green in the leaves a little bit. Yay. Okay, so that is available in my Etsy shop. Oh, and now I wanted to show you guys the Valentine's kit. I have the Valentine's kit on in my Etsy shop. <clears throat> so, oh, let me show you the other signs first. Okay, so these are the signs I have in my Etsy shop. I don't have this one yet because we're gonna, I'm going to do a kit with this one. So I'm going to do, this one is going to be a kit. But I do have a couple of these. Um, dogs make me happy. People, not so much. I have the ladybug sign. Um, beware of dog kisses sign. And be blessed. So these are new in my store. I'm going to be selling those. And like I said, this one I'm going to be doing a... Um, a wreath kit with probably next couple of months maybe after the Easter kit so those are new in my shop and then this is the Valentine's kit so this is the sign that you will get with the Valentine's kit it says love um, you'll get a wreath form the pipe cleaners I am doing the um, snowball mesh with the black 
Now, this, you're going to love this. This is 25 yards of a white satin ribbon. We're going to do stuff with that. We're going to use this red ribbon. We're going to use this ribbon and this ribbon and this ribbon. So, you guys, you're getting 25 yards of ribbon here. This is only three yards. This is five yards, or no, five yards, and then these two are 10 yards. So you're getting a lot of ribbon with that. So the kit is in my Etsy shop. So let me pull that up for you. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and order them because um, they're going to go quick because there's I don't have a lot of them. But, um, <clears throat> so go ahead and order those, and I'll be getting them out very soon. But, um, yeah, I love that. I love the sign. And I thought this, you know, all went really well with it. But like I said, this is a 25-yard roll. Um, and then these are 10, this is 5, and this is 5. Oh, thanks, Vicki. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think it's gonna go. I think it's gonna be cute, but I wanted to go with the black snow mesh to kind of like this is kind of speckled. If you guys can see that, so that's what we're doing for the Valentine's kit. So go ahead and order them if you want them. They're gonna go fast. I think I only have eight left because I um, offer them to my group first. If you're in my group, you do get a ten percent discount on anything in my Etsy shop, including the wreath kits. So if you're a member of the group, I always give it them first dibs first. Um, and then however many, you know, they want, they get to purchase first. And then the, the rest of them, I offer them to you guys. So I think that's it. Thanks, Vicki. I appreciate that. Thank you, Sherry. So any questions you guys have? Anything else going on? That's the wreath I made. Oh, I have to show you guys this. I went to Big Lots today. Look how cute these are. Look at these angels. Aren't these adorable? They are so pretty. I got two boxes of that, and then I got two boxes of these. Um, everything was like 25% off. But I love those little angels. I can't wait to make something with that next year. All right, guys, that's it for me. And I will be on probably Sunday, either afternoon or evening, um, since Monday is Christmas Eve. So I will see all you guys then. If I don't see you, have a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for your love and support this year. It means a lot to me, and I really do appreciate it. Um, so thank you very much, and have a great Christmas. And I will see you Sunday. And then Thursday. So have a wonderful night. Merry Christmas. Hope to see you Sunday. Don't forget to share. Oh, yay, Mary. Yep, Deb, you just go ahead and go on and, and um, you can use that link. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. I will see you on Sunday. Merry Christmas, all. Bye.